a beautiful day for a train trip. Everything is calm, the sound of the wheels on the tracks, that breeze hitting the window. But then, the train enters a tunnel. And suddenly, everything changes. The sound gets longer, it echoes. It seems like the tunnel itself is responding. This is not magic, this is reverb. And today we are going to talk about how to apply sound reverb in the range engine. So there are two ways to activate reverb on a sound. The first is by Python script. And the second is using a template that is available for free on the range engine store. So let's start with the Python script way. First, we add a speaker object and attach a sound to it. Check the start in it option to have the speaker play the sound when the game starts. Now let's test and see if the sound is working. Alright, now let's add a script to the speaker so we can add the reverb. We will only use the start function, so I will remove what is not useful at the moment. To add an effect to the speaker, we will call the set effect function. The first parameter is the type of effect to be used, and the second is the filter. To access the parameters, we need to import the audio library into our script. Now we can insert them into our function. The first parameter we will put the reverb type. The filter is optional. We will add it after setting up the reverb. Now it's time to test it and see the difference. It may be a little difficult to notice, but the reverb is already working. Let's set it up now. Hmm. There are quite a lot, quite a lot of parameters to configure, so I think I'd better quickly explain each parameter with this table. But don't be scared. You don't necessarily need to learn this. You just need to copy and paste the parameters so that the effect fits the way you want. And I set it up this way so the reverb is more apparent. Let's start again and see the difference. Much better now, but it's not ready yet we can activate the filter and improve the quality of the effect. So we will use the low pass filter because it cuts the high sounds and leaves the low ones. Great for effects like cave or tunnel, for example. And of course, the filter also has its parameters. Finally, we will now activate a very important option for our reverb effect, which is 3D sound. All right, it's time to see Reverb in its full form. Now we will use the template that is available for download in the range store. So I added this character so we can walk freely around the scene. First, let's remove the reverb script we made earlier. Now let's attach the reverb script that is inside the project we just downloaded. We also go back to the template to get a reverb area. Here we have templates for different areas, cave, forest, hall, 
and simpler areas like cube and sphere. I'll just grab the area with cave preset. Now to activate reverb on a speaker, all we need to do is add the template script to it. It should already work perfectly. There are several options to be configured the way you want. It follows the same way we learned previously. I'll just change some speaker settings and then test the scene. Fine, it's working very well. Now it would be nice to have a way to visualize the reverb area in game mode. To do this, we just need to go to the Sound Reverb options and activate the Visualizer. In the Visualizer, we have two areas. The first is the initial one, where the reverb effect begins. And the second one is where the highest intensity of the reverb is. So basically, this fades in and out the reverb effect on your sound. show you some options that you can change as you prefer. It's possible to change the shape of the reverb area to sphere. To change the visualizer in the viewport, just go to the empty options and change it to the sphere type. But I'll keep using the cube method anyway. The max inner option is used to change the size of the maximum reverb effect area. Now, if you don't want to use the cave effect, the template has a variety of effect types ready to use. You can choose up to five types, cavern, hall, forest, underwater, or the generic type. Let's try underwater effect. Now I'll show you how you can change the parameters for each reverb area. To use custom values, you can't use the presets, so you need to remove the preset property. Finally, now you can change the parameters by adding a new property with the parameter name and the float value. If you have any questions, just read the documentation inside the Reverb script. There you will discover how the template works. Fine, you've learned how Sound Reverb works in the Range Engine. What the f***? We want to thank our supporters who are making this project happen. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, and if possible, support us on Patreon so that we can continue with the development of the Range Engine. Thank you, and see you next time.